In April 2021, while most people in southern Ontario were staying home for their third COVID lockdown, a pair of red foxes were raising their cubs in a tucked away corner of Maple. A dirt bank beside some railway tracks provided an ideal site for their den, which had multiple entrances. We came across the mother carrying one or two voles to the den. Three cubs scrambled out to meet her. She then began grooming the cubs. The cubs have woolly fur. They were just over a month old and had begun to come out to play. Then we saw a fourth cub creep out from under the concrete slab. After a while a fifth cub cautiously came out to join the others. The cubs are always playful. They are actually practicing their hunting skills. Pouncing, wrestling and pinning down prey on the ground with their forefeet. Down! but stamping on the belly is too rough, it was quickly stopped. Mom then took up watch at the guard post, totally aware of our presence. We noticed that one cub was larger and more red in colour, so we called it Reddit. Two smaller cubs, one had a larger white tail tip, so we called them Big Tip and Small Tip. After a while, a large fierce looking adult returned, showing that he was Dad and the very red one was Mom. They are paired for the year, but hunt and rest separately. A minute later, a third fox appeared. She was an older female, staying on as a helper, an auntie. train must have become a daily show for them by now. Then Dad went hunting. In only 12 minutes he returned with a large rabbit. But it was too large for the cubs to handle and was abandoned. But amazingly Small Tip wanted to keep the rabbit for himself. He was unable to eat it and didn't know what to do.
Keep away, Dad. This is mine. Two days later, a cold spell came and it snowed overnight. We went to see how the foxes face these unexpected conditions. Only mum and one cub came out in the cold briefly. Nine days later, some railway workers came by to inspect the tracks. Reddit had never seen people so close before. He has grown a lot, the woolly fur replaced by real hair. He likes to be with Auntie. She was a good guard. She even came close to challenge and check on us. It seems she did not hunt, only salvaging food from the caches. But she was skinny and looked starved. Reddit was playing with an American robin, pouncing on it. Perhaps it was a roadkill that the foxes had found. Like Auntie, he wanted to stash it. But this hole was too big and not well concealed. Let me check that again. Is it dead? Reddit was the most active looking for attention. Using her eyes and playing helpless. Cubs are fully grown after 10 months. While Dad was distracted, another fox secretly came to the den. Looking about, even poked into the burrow. The cubs were suspicious, but Reddit went closer.
We noted that the intruder had markings on its back. Dad did most of the hunting and slept in between. But red foxes are compulsive hunters, even if not hungry. He went off to the woods again. This time, after one hour, he brought in a grey squirrel and put it directly into the burrow for the smallest cub. It's not for you, auntie. About two hours later, Dad again came back with a mouthful of baby rabbits. Auntie rushed in. Big Tips skillfully kept Dad away. then managed to carry all of them off, despite his small mouth. This time, Auntie was lucky to get a share. By now, we can recognise each fox confidently. Auntie has two white hind toes, she looked unhealthy and had old grey hair. Mom looked young and cute. She had thick glossy red hair. In the wild, a fox can expect to survive for about five years. Dad looked strong and stately. The cubs were about two to three months old now. Reddit had the brightest coloured fur. Whitefoot was equally robust. Big Tip and Small Tip are still buffy in colour. And then there was the baby cub. It was time to train Reddit to hunt. Mum took him up to the sand pile to practice charging tactics. This baby was practicing stalking by himself. Spring had arrived. Flowers were blooming, covering up the burrows. By now, Dad had moved the grown cubs to the sand piles, away from the den. And Mum had to follow to watch over them. They stay together until the fall then winter separately. It happened that Whitefoot was left alone to guard the den. Then he saw danger. The intruder. Carefully he went to investigate.
This may have been a foolish move, but he was not hurt. We noted the time. It was 7.30 a.m. Then two hours later, when the place was deserted, the intruder returned. This time he bared his teeth, looking aggressive, and sat at the south end for a long time. Before trotting in as if it was his territory, showing his teeth the whole time. and spying on the family at the back. A week later the site seemed to be vacant, except for the northern mockingbird. Only Reddit walked past on the ridge, briefly. Reddit was also the only one that showed himself on June the 5th. He must have been hungry because he dug up the remains of a rabbit from a cache. It seems quite difficult for it to actually get meat off the bone. It has to gnaw using the side of its mouth. We decided to look for the foxes one last time. We saw Auntie. She seemed to have molted and looked in much better condition. Reddit was there with another cub we think was baby. Big Tip and Small Tip were still play fighting. A cub becomes sexually mature at 10 months. It has been two months since we first saw the foxes. They are getting difficult to tell apart. It is time to leave them to their private world. In the days ahead, the cubs will encounter many challenges and unknown dangers. like deadly traffic. The red fox is an endearing animal which has adapted to suburban living. If we leave them undisturbed they have little to fear except unleashed dogs, wild coyotes and high-speed traffic. Years ago they were trapped for their skins but today who wants to wear one round their neck? 